The TSA has come under fire recently for the extremely long wait times passengers are having to deal with at security checkpoints. And following the crash of Egypt Air Flight 804, the agency says changes may be coming. Passengers at some U.S. airports are waiting more than three hours in security lines these days. Due to budget cuts, there aren't enough TSA screeners and travelers have had enough. Now the Air Egypt crash also raises new safety concerns about whether the TSA is properly equipped to prevent prevent an attack, especially as terrorists are using new techniques and explosives. A growing terror threat and staffing issues combined, the TSA admits the summer travel season could get rough. So what can the agency do to shorten the wait lines without jeopardizing security? And did it take a deadly crash for the TSA to finally step up? That's our topic this half hour. We want to hear from you on our Fox 26 Facebook page. You can weigh in on Twitter as well. Use the hashtag Fox 26 for life. Joining us live in the newsroom is our panel, led by our senior legal analyst, Chris Tritico. We have the former chair of the Harris County Republican Party, Jared Woodfield and former mayoral candidate and attorney Chris Bell. A lot of people saying this is too little too late, uh, the TSA's efforts to hire more people. This is bureaucracy at work at its finest. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is, look, the, the, the TSA started the uh, pre-check program and they said that so many people will sign up for pre-check, we can reduce our budget because we don't need as many screeners. And without ever having, actually having any empirical data to prove that they cut their budget then they cut the number of, of people that were working for the agency lo and behold that didn't happen and so now they're stuck with not enough staff they're going back to Congress saying give us some more money the Republicans in Congress they're they're a little bit tight we hear and they're not giving out money uh, we'll talk to Jared about that um, and so we've got this problem on top of that a, 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 a check a year ago or maybe two years ago they missed over 90 percent of the explosives that were taken through in a test and so the TSA's got a major problem on their hand Chris Bell now you've got this Egypt air crash that 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 their speculation is they brought it in in a laptop so the TSA is going to now make changes I don't know what else they can make us do but here we are well, I've been talking about the TSA for a long time, going back to 2007. I was recalling that I wrote a column for a community newspaper making fun of the TSA. And what's funny, terrorism has always been sort of the guard that has protected uh, TSA because people are so frightened that they feel like they can, can do anything and they can't go too far. In my personal opinion, I think they've ruined traveling uh, and have gone uh, too far. And it's all reactive. It's not very proactive. You know, they, you have someone who sneaks and explodes explosive in an issue and so we're taking our shoes off and and you know it's one instead thing of being out. ahead of the game they're behind the game right almost always and I think Chris is absolutely right on that I mean what else and as you said what else can we do now right. we're gonna have issues with laptops what is it next our ties I mean our underwear who knows I mean it's just getting outrageous and the reality is throwing money at the, at the organization or the agency is not the solution um, it's but, not but working come on the it's dumbest thing the dumbest thing I've ever heard is we've got this TSA pre-check so we don't need as many people let's cut the budget yeah come uh, on. yeah I, I, I mean the whole concept is flawed <laughs> the whole thing is broken right now and anyone who's gone in to an airport knows how inconvenient and and really unsuccessful it right. is and, and what they're doing. Let me go to Sally. She's monitoring our social media. Okay, let's take a look at Twitter right now. At Book Gal says, lines considerably shorter at TSA at O'Hare, <laughs> though I had the pre-check, which took all of four minutes. Love <laughs> pre-check. I'm thinking of signing up myself for this because it's just after the three-hour wait lines that I've been seeing. Okay, uh, this person says, Spend the money on upgrading, expanding x-ray, the dogs. We've seen dogs tested more and more this week. And they are more accurate than TSA workers, this person says. And then, ready for airports to get rid of TSA and privately run security. Flying has become an absolute joke. TSA is slower and slower by the day. Do you think we'll see any move toward privatization? Well, you've got several of the major airports in the country saying, you know what, we're just going to bring in private people ourselves. Some have already done it. Yeah, Which is a great idea. And, and, and so I think you're going to see that happening. And, and, and why I got TSA pre the second it came out. I well, logged on, signed up, went and did it. All you got to do... 
sign up, go get some fingerprint tests the next day, and you know, you get the number. Why wouldn't anybody do that? Well, does it work? Did Absolutely. It, it shorten your time? Okay. Absolutely. I, I've, I've heard a lot of people talk about it, I just haven't done it. But it's good that they're finally having the discussion, because right. this has gone on a long time, and there's complete inconsistency. You never know how long uh, the, the line is going to be. And so I was glad to see Congress finally talking about it and really putting some pressure on TSA to, to change, because they've operated in a fashion where they can do just about anything, uh, right. and, and nobody does anything about it. And it just Go ahead. And, and really, they, you know, they are reactive and not proactive, as Chris was saying earlier. And the terrorists will continue to come up with new right. ideas and ways to hurt people. Which is exactly what I was about to say. So the, 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 it seems to me the program, if we're going to spend money on it, is to have a program that would be more in tune with let's be ahead of the game. Where, are the ter where can the terrorists go? Well, and surely that they, money is better spent. And, and certainly they know how to shorten lines in, the, in this day and age. I, they've seen enough and had a, enough time to test the system. Right. And I like the one post on privatizing things. I think there's a whole lot of sense behind that idea. And I would like to see them smooth towards that effort as opposed to uh, using a big government organization like the TSA. Well, then they'd really have to effective. address it. Yeah. Then they'd have to pay overtime. <laughs> Going back to another story. <laughs> I like how you link those stories, Chris. It's a good, good water just there. For the I like that. All oh, right, <laughs> that's why you're the man. <laughs> just for the supervisors. All right, we're gonna leave it right there. We'll be back in the next hour with two really good topics. Okay. Well